the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. So what you got about Peter confession? What what would you got to say about that? Eight, uh, twenty-seven to thirty. Okay. Now Jesus and his disciples went out to the town of Caesarea Philippi, and on the road he asked his disciples, saying to them, "Who do men say I am?" Mm. So they answered, "John the Baptist." Yes, sir. Some say Elijah, and others one of the prophets. Come on. He said to them, "But who?" you say I am. Mm. Peter answered and said to him, you are the Christ. Mm. Then he strictly warned them that they should tell no one about him. Mm. Now, there's, what there's you... others. There, there, <laughs> I know it. There's, there's other uh, recalls of this. You know, uh, I, I do recall one of these brothers going into detail he about did. old brother and, Peter here. He, and I think that that could be covered down to the bottom there. That could be covered too. It was in yeah. John, right? But I, I, I like the fact is that I think it was John who said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Living God, he went into detail. He went into detail. In other words, it, that what caught his attention. Yeah. And, and and this is Mark. Mark was not one of his disciples. No, he wasn't chosen to be his disciple. Uh, no, I mean he was not chosen to be an apostle. So this was something that it was he relayed to Mark, or he did say those other people followed. Yeah, him, yeah. Right. There was there was more than the twelve. Exactly. That were that were there, but the twelve were the only ones who and he's got like, yeah. the explanation. Exactly. Of, of things. Now, Mark could have been privy to them explaining it to the rest. He probably of did. The folk. He probably was. Um, but but Mark was not. He was not chosen mm -hmm. of God mm -hmm. for him. Right. And but, you remember that? But ahead. his position. Yes, sir which is something that is powerful, mm -hmm. you can be in a position to where you can affect change yeah. in the world. Which he did, technically. That's what Mark did. Yeah, he did. He did. He just said those, those just like you said, those little nuances of differences yeah. that others thought. Because I don't know, I don't think Matthew even covered that. I don't think Matthew, Matthew didn't cover it. I think it was John no. who was covered that. And John, you can say with more detail, what Christ said, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. Yeah. But my father from heaven. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you see, you ever caught those little, you see little nuances, you catch them when you're now, and you take one chapter, and you know you're going to another chapter. As a matter of fact, in your case, you read it before. Yeah. See, so it, it's different. Yeah. Uh, and what we're doing is encouraging people to read it, you know, don't, in common. Don't read it and think that that there's something missing. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. But you you do need to read them all. Yeah. And kind of overlay them so that you can get a better picture. Exactly. Of what God is trying to convey to you. Yes, sir. Because if you read this, mm -hmm. this is detail and it centers on the question and the answer. In the answer, yeah. Where in others, it goes deeper yes sir into the 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 the, the experience mm -hmm. of what was going on into the the time of what this stuff happened uh was like because for him to turn around and rebuke peter yeah yeah right after that right i mean that is something that you need to understand but you do need to understand this part mm -hmm. yeah that you are the Christ. Yes, sir. And then we that, like about that, like. that they did realize Come on. that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like the part that they realize that what Peter also said, or John said, was, "You are the Christ, the Son, Son yes. of the Living God." Yes. That was just the emphasis. You know what I'm saying? 
But you, if you, if you're doing it, what we're doing, the, those who are reading it for the first time, based on the survey, most of all reading this for the first time. And you, and I, I think, like I said, I think this is good to demonstrate to people. I have recommended Brother Addison. And some people said you should have some Bible study where you just do that. Just, just read the scripture and milk it while you, you know, that that whole session was about that chapter where people can talk about it and get an understanding of it. Does that make sense? And that way you, you're you not creating more material. Now you can get more material to go with your study, uh, which is what I was thinking about with the uh, Old Testament. I wanted to get more material of explaining the region where they, you know, this took place. You know, we're talking to Genesis. Uh, and then talking about where Abraham, where, you know when they said where Abraham came from? Is it now? So, okay, the map may be off a little bit, but he came from this general area of Northern Africa or Middle East. Mm -hmm. Middle East is not a continent, but it is a region. Uh, you can you can see where Babylon was, right? That was in Iraq. And and, and so I wanted to start, I wanted to get to those, just help people get a perspective of, of, of the region, of the area. And at the same time too, say, you know, that's not Europe. I, I do, I think that is really- it's Definitely not the United States. <laughs> and definitely not the United States. What I'm trying States. to say now. Oh Lord, I, I saw. Well, that's when they put that. I saw that one world map with it. You have know, look. You can see look like the continents. Yeah, separate. Separated, right? So, so I, I saw that. I saw that that piece right there. So these people, they was in the, the Native Americans or uh, were because that's when they walked. They just walked across yeah. when everything was connected. They, it wasn't a boat to do it, but. The, the, the thing is you're seeing a different perspective. And yet, and like you said, only if you, you only know that, that was there was more to that confession because you read other gospels. Yeah. Yeah. But it helps you know that. It it, 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 it it's just I, I I like it. I do like it. And we still can talk about what's going on during the modern day at the same time. <laughs> so so go ahead, next one. Uh we just finished uh 27 and 30. Now we got the last set of, of uh, scriptures, 31 through 38. 38. So then he began to teach them that mm. sad, that, that the Son of Man must mm. suffer many things mm -hmm. and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes mm. and be killed and after three days rise again. So he's prophesying to Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, sir. Uh, he's speaking those things that be not. Mm -hmm. As though they were. Yeah. Okay. He spoke this word openly. Mm -hmm. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> now you put yourself in it. Go ahead and read it first. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> But when he had turned around and looked at his disciples, mm. he rebuked Peter, saying, Get behind me, Satan. No, get behind me, mm -hmm. Satan. For you are not mindful of the things of God, mm. but mm. the things of man. Mm. When he had called the people to himself, mm -hmm. with his disciples also, he said to them, mm. Whoever desires to come after me, mm -hmm. let him deny himself mm -hmm. and take up his cross mm -hmm. and follow me. Mm -hmm. For so whoever desires to save his life mm -hmm. will lose. Mm -hmm. But whoever so lose, whoever loses his life for my sake mm -hmm. and the gospels will save it. Come on now. For what will it profit a man? If mm. he gains the whole, whole world and loses his own soul. Own soul. Or what will a man give mm. in exchange for? So what can you give mm. <laughs> other than your life? Mm. For whoever is ashamed of me mm. and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him, the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes into the glory of his Father with the Holy Angel. Yes, sir. That's yes, something. Sir. Yeah. That is something that Yeshua mm. will be so ashamed of you. Come on now. When he is with his Father. 
Mm. With the A. Mm. 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 The, so, so, so that's a lot of unpacking you got there, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing when we sit there. Too. And, and before you even talk, once again, people, I encourage people. Just, I think this is even better than when you have like a little Bible study session or something. Yeah. Just take that one chapter and discuss that one chapter. Yeah. They, they know, do that. At, huh? at one time, I, I was, it really wasn't, I can't call it a Bible study, mm -hmm. but it was more of a Bible reading. That's what I, yeah, I said, yeah, it's a Bible yeah. reading. I would have a family uh, come over. Mm -hmm. And and I would we'd go to their home as well, okay. mm -hmm. and at you know, times and you know we'd have some some snacks or whatever, some to drink. But I would pull the the scriptures up on my TV, my big screen TV, and we could all fit in the living room. Right. And we would just read mm. and just talk about the scriptures that we were reading very briefly, but more so to 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 clarify some questions if there was any questions as we read along as you read along okay you know or even brought up uh other scriptures that pertain to what yes sir was being read to get a better understanding mm -hmm. or to or to uh dispel uh disbelief disbelief right you know, which, or bad doctrine or, or bad leaven yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and, and to yeah, to get rid of bad living. Yeah, come on, of, bro. Of, of, of religion. Exactly. To to, to bring it back mm -hmm. to the root. Of come on, bro. And, and without that, uh, <laughs> you know, you can be led astray, which is what the Bible says. Exactly. Even the very elect. Come on now. Be led astray. <laughs> so obviously, you know, we 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 do need to hear. You, yes. Hear by the word. Yes, sir. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. And so then, you and, have to filter what you hear through the word of God. Because yes, you don't just go and have somebody preach and teach you something. Yeah. Without being able to filter it. Yeah. Through the word. With, with the word. Exactly. Yeah. Come on, you're talking. That's so, what I'm saying. We should encourage people to that. hear somebody speak something while, like, you filter coffee grounds. Come on, bro. A filter to get the coffee. Yeah. You know, you're not going to get the coffee grounds. Uh -huh. you're get the coffee, what you're trying to get. Yes, so sir. You have to filter through the word. Exactly. And like I said, for those who have read the word again, you do see it from a different perspective. As you go back again, you be like, because that's what the Paul sometimes came in. It's like, well, that's right. I heard. Oh, OK. That's in the other gospel. You know, so, it's, yeah. so it helps you to say, oh, this is a different perspective. Okay, oh, he's focused on something a little different than the other person re doing that, you know, the other book in the Bible. So this is great, this is what I'm saying. And I encourage people, I'm going to do it in, in the close of the things again. This is the best way. You don't have to be uh, going to seminary or anything else to just read for understanding, you know? And I, I think it's good that even if some of y'all don't know y'all understand the Bible, but you sit there as a group that read that chapter, now you got some questions you can take to somebody who may be a little more mature, more seasoned in the Word. You know what yeah. I mean? Come yeah. on, bro. Come on. You're doing I often, it. Often do that. Uh, uh, so oftentimes I, I play with uh, the pastor of First Baptist. Uh -huh. And when I would get something in the word I'd run it by him mm -hmm. and, and, and I know it was kind of, <laughs> it was I, I I wouldn't just always do it mm -hmm. but when when it seemed like the opportune time to do it I would say something and it wasn't in a way to get a response all the time mm -hmm. it was for someone seasoned to hear it Come on, if, if if I was a miss or something, I'm pretty sure that person would found on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or sometimes would even uh, undergird what I said, you exactly, know, or, or, or explain a little different, mm -hmm. or give me a different perspective on how to receive it. Exactly. But uh, 
<laughs> now that I think, now that I go back and think about it, and, and often even before, you know, he's just out there trying to be, you know, one of the guys. And here I am pulling back into the pool. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, but then I always think he should always be. In season, out of season. You must be. In yeah. season and in and out of season. Yeah. He should be able to 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 feed me. Well, tell you to reflect to me. me or, or to correct me, you know. If, if reflectively is it, is it, should be more of a person trying to be like with, with brothers, you know, and, and step away from the word because it's, it's it's my job. But mm -hmm. the really saying is this is encouraging others to to always discuss and talk about yeah. the, the scriptures when the opportunity comes up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and the beauty of it is the people that play with us, he's their pastor. Mm -hmm. And so I think there is a, a, a natural uh, uh, wall there that they won't pass mm -hmm. because they that's their pastor. Okay. But it doesn't exist with me because he's not my pastor, even though he's a pastor. Right. Yeah. And I approach him no mm -hmm. different than just like you're my pastor. Yeah. But we have a dynamic where I could just, you know, say just whatever. Tell, yeah. You know, there, there's there's no I don't hold you Exactly. You and know, which up it, here with Christ. Which it, which, which, which is interesting though, right? Christ also was God in mm -hmm. you know, the world yeah. made flesh came to us yes. at the level. Yes. So that we he can communicate with us. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Amen. That, that he's saying is that all of us, remember, I think what people said is he that wants to be greatest of all should be what? Servant. Servant of all. So people said, I'm serving you. He yep. came to serve us. And then all of us in the ministry are supposed to be, we're serving the people. Uh, and then the people should be able to serve each other. So we should always talk about the word. Because what it's it's the word we're trying to say, how do I live this life with this Bible? Right? Mm -hmm. So we should talk about it. We should deal with what, like you said, current events and everything else. And how does the Bible deal with that? Or well, how what do you mean the old saying we talk about too? What would Jesus do? Uh, what would Christ do, right? Well, th with these settings is telling us that we should talk about it. And tie it in any way you want to. So in this particular case, you see him talking about the suffering that he has to go through. What, what's the significant about that is other people have suffered too. Some of the people you're dealing with have suffered. You going through that healing was a suffering. Come on, bro. That was one of that was one of the biggest suffering you had. You ain't gotta be slapped on the refrigerator to be suffering. No. Come on, bro. But, but. The, the the with the end of it mm. the 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 glory of of coming on the other side of come on now the the the, the, <laughs> the, the, the I don't know how to how to put it in words you know to, you have to get a parable brother that's what you have to do <laughs> that what Jesus did. <laughs> what, what's a good parable to try? What would what, 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 what line up with what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> uh, right, right offhand. Woo! I, I, I can't even put it into words, but <laughs> uh, but I, I can say this: <laughs> when my body started feeling mm. uh, pain. Mm. Symptoms, yes, sir. That resembled it. Come on. My faith that God has delivered me from that mm. was such that there's no way. This is what I I actually said out loud. I said, "There's no way mm. that God's gonna deliver me from this oh. and then let this take me out." Mm. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So there was there was He did it already. Okay. Yes, sir. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He had already brought me through this. So how could this, you know, take me out? Mm. And and it was just it was just too I couldn't fathom that. Come on now. So the faith that I had in the 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 ability of God to sustain me. Come on. <laughs> was greater than the physical uh uh things that I were going through, that I was feeling, that I was thinking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know. Uh, that the enemy was trying to attack me with. And so, uh, where, where before, I would be right there at the emergency room. <laughs> so you need to see what's Help wrong. Help me! Help me! You know, it, was, it, yeah. was, it was my faith that got me through that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so, so, yeah, I mean, the experience is, is something. Exactly. And I think, uh, Christ, I think this right test, what Christ is showing is that Remember this what scripture say he, he we don't have a, a savior who has been touched by our infirmities. Yeah. And that's that's basically what you have here. He's he's explaining to them what he's gonna go through. Yeah. We have read the scripture so we know what that will be. Yeah. Now if you read it for the first time, you you at least you said, Oh, well, he's suffering. Cause you every time we we read, we we put the inflection of him walking on water. Yeah. We ain't yeah, talking about but, it. But to actually know. Yes. To know detail. Detail. And, and, and to know the, the, everything there is to know about that. Yeah. That, that suffering. Uh -huh. You know, and. Uh, <laughs> it's something else. Willfully go to experience that. Yeah, and it, it lines up with his compassion. It, it lines up with, with him saying, I had compassion for the, those people that, that came and listened to me yeah. because I had compassion for them anyway. You know, uh, somebody said the other day is that uh, love doesn't give an excuse for laying their life down for you. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't need an excuse for why they laid their life down for you, or why they were going to a burning building to, 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 to rescue you. Yeah. Love, love is like, I don't, it's not about the fire, it's about the person in the fire. And I got to go get that person. If I have the ability, I want to go do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that, that, that's now, what he's demonstrating. Yeah. He suffered. He, he didn't tell me what was going to happen. And then you see Peter. You can see why Peter, that little Peter. Hmm. That, that, that's love now, right? It's, 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 it's well, Peter, Peter expressed love, but exactly. he was he was out of pocket. <laughs> he was out of pocket. Because he, he didn't have a, an understanding of, of what what the redemptive work was. Nobody did. He did exactly. He was like, why you got to suffer? Yeah. That's what I'm here for. I, get, I like that stuff when we do the carol. I get your back. Jeez, I get your back. Until I did have your back. <laughs> you know? You know? And, and, but, but in every intentions, he did. He did. I mean. He cut the man's ear off. Just, when he actually had his back. He had his back to the point of attacking those who came to get him. He did. He read he had a sword. He, he didn't hesitate. That, that <laughs> ear was gone. Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> it was gone so fast that the people didn't react to it. Yeah. He he but he had to be restrained by Christ. By Christ. Yeah. And, and and that in that moment mm -hmm. of being refrained, then that gave him a chance for self-preservation to kick in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? oh, it, did, it did after that, didn't it? Yeah. Well, he, and he told me to let these people go. Because, but at the initial, the love that he had, it was like, no, it's yeah. on and popping. We we going to die right here and there. <laughs> this is it. All, all of us. <laughs> we, not not my savior. The game is on. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And, but but after he was brought to his senses, you you give it, and which is why you should always give yourself a minute 
mm -hmm. before you act. Yeah. You should re respond instead of reacting. Uh, obviously, Peter reacted initially, and then when he had the time to respond, mm -hmm. <laughs> got to answer for it. <laughs> yeah. Now, the funny thing, when he said spoke openly, these words openly, I guess he's saying more than just with the disciples. Yeah. And, and then, so Peter was sitting there, took, he took them away from the group. Yeah. To a degree, right? It's almost yeah. like when he said took them to the side and began to rebuke him, it's almost, yeah. let's see, let's people could see it. He's saying this, let me, let, let's talk, right? That's how many times you've done it. You took somebody to, to the side and then you have that conversation, almost like a one on one conversation, right? Kind of. I don't know how loud it was. In the midst of people, but pull somebody just away to yeah. where you can deal with that person one on one. One on one, right? He had the respect to do he, that. He did. He did. Now look at look at Christ. Look at Christ's response. Thirty three. Yeah, he said. But when he had turned around and looked at his disciples, so what he said? Well, what did what did that tell you? How did that? Like Jesus, was like <laughs> you know they all they all <laughs> they all watching this. You know, let me put him in check real quick <laughs> so that they know that this ain't happening. <laughs> so, so apparently, they, apparently, because they, obviously, because it's retold, they could hear it. <laughs> yeah. And I guess anybody that was around could hear, get rebuking them. <laughs> and he looked around, he, so he's looking at you. In other words, he ain't looking at Peter right there, he's looking at everybody else. <laughs> Hey, if it says, look, a little leaven, a little leaven. Yeah. yeah he had to, look, he had to get rid of that. I got to handle this. Let me yeah. handle this. Yeah. So he turned around, looked at the disciple, and he rebuked Peter. Now, what are you all thought about that statement right here? Is this is that similar to the Sunday house? Because you did read it. Because I think, did we read it the way you read it the way we always heard it? Or is that is the way we always heard it, too? I think we we heard it. Get behind me, Satan. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. That's why you saw it's different. You read it. That's where you paused. Yeah. It says, "Get behind me." Then he yeah. goes, "Satan." Yeah. For you are not mindful of the things of God, mm -hmm. but the things of men. Yeah, yeah. I do like the fact that said. So further, like you said, get behind me, Satan. Get it says the same thing. It is the same thing. Get behind me, Satan. Get behind. That's the word. That's what we always hear, right? Yeah. I you always heard, get behind me, Satan. You yeah. Know, there was no pause there. Get oh, you. gotcha. Thank gotcha. you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because there's an explanation point there. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Get behind me, Satan. And it was like, you know, it, letting them know that it's, it's Peter being used up. Yeah. Woo. Woo, he's being used up, right? And then what the part like this? What's this piece here? That's cardinal mind is what he's saying, isn't yeah. it? He said, for yeah. you, you, you're not mind for the things of God, but the things of men. Yeah. And how many even, people even your your love for me mm. is a thing of man. Come on. Come because on. God's will Woo. Come overrides on. me. Yes, sir. There you go, brother. And that's what he's trying to tell us to be mindful of the things of God. See, even talking about the political arena and stuff going today, that's mindful of things oh, of men. That, that is something. We, uh, friend Yancey, mm. uh, minister, mm -hmm. we, we often talk about this. Yeah. Uh, the ability of a Christian to take a one party over another yeah and then apply that to everyone else yes sir yes sir you know and get caught up into the politics yes sir now you can have a desire to be a part of one party or the other come on now but the politics mm that go along with it yeah is a whole nother thing because your politics should only concern the kingdom of god that you are an ambassador of mm. now when things this is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it 
we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.